Yeah, Tommy. Okay, I'm going to uh, show you how to do rear naked choke. Uh, in judo, they call it Hadaka Jimmy. In uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, we call it Mata Leo or just RNC, rear naked choke. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to worry about how to actually get on his back. So we'll just say he's down in a turtle position and I'm, I've come around to the side. Okay, now I'm going to put my feet in here. Oh, oh, get these hooks. So when I say hooks, I mean my feet, they're going inside his thighs here. Now I come in for a seatbelt grip, so that means I'm going to come through between the neck and the shoulder with one hand, under the armpit with the other, grab my wrist. Okay, from here, pulling in close, I'm going to fall to the side. I'm lucky in this instance because I've fallen to the strong side, which means my elbow's down on the ground. Okay, so the way to remember how to have my arms here is I pretend I've got a knife in my hand and I've stabbed him in the heart. Stab, and use the other hand holding it there. So I've got a really good grip. My hooks are still in here. Right, okay. So from here, the hand that's holding the stabbing hand in, I let go, I grab hold of his wrist. That stops him from being able to use this hand to help him escape. So from here, my other hand's got a clear route to snake up here, grab my own arm. So I grab my arm or my shoulder, shoulder's even better. And now I let go of this wrist, lock it off with that hand. Okay. Ideally, I want his chin to be down there in the crook of my elbow. So I've still got this. Push that down to there. Still holding up here. Now this hand, back of my hand, goes in behind his neck. Okay. So from here, I'm going to arch my back this way. I'm just kicking with my feet here. I'm going to try and touch my elbows together and I'm going to breathe in at the same time, pushing my chest into the back of them. Here we go. Alright, once more. Got to this position. I come for his back. I put one foot in, two feet in, dive for this. So I stabbed him with that one. Boom, grab. Now, if I'm lucky, I could finish it from here. If not, I've got to do a little bit of work. So maybe he's in too tight. Maybe I can't get him. So I grab his belt, top here, drive him into the ground, step in. Seat belt grip, rolling off to the side. Stabbed, holding, got the hooks, grab the wrist, come up, grabbing my shoulder or my arm, locking it off, hand behind the neck, arch. Here we go. Easy as that. Now, what happens if we fall to the wrong side? Let's say he's big and tough, and I can't get what I want on him properly. I've gone seat belt here, but he bucks me off the other way. Boom. Okay, so here. I could finish it if I'm lucky, but look, it's hard for me to get my arm out from under here. So, better idea for me is this arm, the one that's stabbing him in the chest, to reach across, grab his shoulder, and I can lift him with that, and this foot here kicks up as well. Kicks up, lifts him up a bit. This arm here is opening his neck up for me to just sweep in underneath here. Oh, grab there, or grab, the, grab my own arm, snake in behind here, same thing. Okay, cool. Thanks.